Hello everybody and today we'll be doing um, Unintended from Cybersec Labs and the room uh, the box was I think fixed today so that you can actually see port 80 or maybe it was just me I'm not sure but you can see that the box is up so why don't we start off our nmap scan and let me just delete the um, last walkthrough directory that I had and we can just make our walkthrough directory we can start off our map scan. So why don't we do scan all the ports um, and we'll see what we get. Alright, and we see that our map scan is friendly done. So why don't we go up over here and we do see on port 80 HTTP file server. Now, um, I think we all know that um, that's vulnerable. So we can exploit that, and we can also see SMB over here, um, and we have some Microsoft RPC. So let's just head over to that web server. Um, you can see HTTP file server. If you click on this, you can see Regetto, and um, I'm pretty sure we all know that that's vulnerable. And if you don't, oops, sorry, search exploit Regetto. You can't see that there is a remote uh, command execution, and it's a Metasploit module, so we can just start up Metasploit, and we'll let that start up. Um, yeah, so we can just do search in Jetto. You can see right here, there's an exploit. Um, so why don't we use that? We can show options. We can set our R host. We also set our L host to our ton zero. We can run. And as you can see, we have an interpreter session. So that's great. Um, Alright, so if we get UID, we can see we are not NT authority system. So why don't we try just get system first? Um, and obviously, that doesn't work. So why don't we drop into a shell, we can do who am I slash priv, and doesn't look like we have much, so why don't we go into a, a temp directory, you can see some stuff here, but that's fine, why don't we upload our opt, windows, privilege escalation, we can upload winps.exe. Now if you don't have winps for some reason, I'll leave that in the link in the description, but we probably all have it. So why don't we hop into a shell. We can start up winps.exe. This should run through a lot of things. And it's done. Okay. So we head all the way back up. Um, okay. So we do see some possible kernel exploits. Um, but we can save that for last. If nothing else works. And we can look through these. Um, user information so I guess it's the administrator this is the user we are right now um, token privileges I guess we don't have any um, we can keep looking at these processes information um, possible deal hijacking um, we have some more and if we just keep looking down at this Unquoted and space detected. Uh, we can definitely check those out. Okay. We can keep looking over here. Current listening ports. Uh, Windows credentials. See if that finds anything. Interesting files and registry. SSH keys, um, unattended files. So this is interesting. One because the name of this box is unattended, so I'm guessing this has something to do with it. But we'll s save that, and we can check out what that is. But yeah, okay. So that is, so that is it. So when we head over to this directory. Um, Type on a ten XML. 
Ooh. That goes to there's a lot of stuff. Now, if you don't know what attend unattended files are, we can easily just Google this. So one of the best places you can go is book.hacktricks.xyz. Oops, that's not supposed to be here. Right, so this is kind of like a cheat sheet for like a lot of things. You can get a lot of stuff here. Um, shells, Linux windows, uh, checklist, Linux privilege escalation. Windows privilege escalation. So why don't we just search up unattend unattended files? So I guess that's what we want. We can head over here. Let that load up. Unattended files. You can see. I guess that's the name of ours right now. The exact same directory too. Windows Panther unattend.xml. So yeah, you can also search for these files using post Windows gather. Um, enum unattend so that's interesting because we're actually in metasploit right now so we can run that i guess um we can background our section session <coughs> and we can just do use post windows gather enum unattend we can do show options and i guess um all we need to set is our session which is going to be session one we can run it and we'll see what that gives us and you can see it does return with some credentials um administrator and a password so that's awesome um we can try to log in now so if you go back to our nmap scan what do we have open how can we log in the first thing is smb we see smb so maybe we can use something like ps exec another thing we see is port 5985 so maybe we can use evil winrm and winrm is uh, windows remote management so maybe we can use um, evil winrm or ps exec so since we have these credentials, why don't we first, um, why don't we try psexec since I made a, I think I, oops, nope, psexec.py. And we can try psexec first, then we'll try evil winrm if this doesn't work. So we can just do administrator, to the password, at, we need to grab the IP address, um, And see it found a writable share and admin uploaded a file and you can see we do have a shell if we do who am I we are NT authority system we can head over to users um, you can go over to administrator and you can go over to your desktop oops nope CD desktop why does that not work CD desktop okay they spell it wrong or something oh CCD. I don't know why that happened. And over here, you can find your system flag. But why don't we try Evil WinRM as well? And we can see if that works. If you don't have Evil WinRM, just do gem install Evil WinRM. Just simple as that. So we can try Evil WinRM dash I for IP address, and we can set that to our IP address, which I'm going to grab from over here. Where is it? This right here. Oops. Here, um, oh boy. Okay, and we can grab our administrator. So dash u for dash u for user. User is administrator. Dash p for password, and our password's over here. So we can try that. You can see it's establishing connection. You can see we are logged in with evil winrm and if we do who am i we are the unattended administrator and we can cd dot doc cd desktop cd desktop ls and that's your system flag right there so that's how you do unattended hope you guys enjoyed this video this was a fairly simple box um if you guys enjoyed it please leave a thumbs up and i'll probably make some more videos soon um so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video